Hello friends, Craig Ballard, Jay's Talk, December 15th, so let's go ahead and open our Toronto Blue Jay Advent Calendar Box, number 15. Now we just saw a playoff gem this past playoffs where the Astros beat the Mariners 1-0 in an 18-inning game. Well, the Blue Jays record for the longest 1-0 game came back in 1986 as the Jays would lose 1-0 in the, what's today's number, 15th inning, the bottom of the 15th inning, they would lose that to the Oakland A's as Blue Jay reliever Stan Clark would walk longtime Blue Jay and then Oakland A, Alfredo Griffin, Alfredo's made a few appearances in these Blue Jays advent calendar boxes, would walk Griffin with two out, oh no, two out, and the base is loaded to end that marathon game. The franchise record for a pitcher winning the most games in a row is 15, and it was accomplished twice, and we're talking some who's who of Toronto Blue Jay pitchers, as Roger Clemens was one of them. He was the first to earn 15 straight wins for the Blue Jays. He did that in 1998. And then my favorite, probably one of yours, probably one of your favorites as well, Roy Halladay, would match that 15-game win streak in 2006. Rocket Roger and Doc Halliday. I mean, we're talking Blue Jays legends with what those guys accomplished here in Toronto. Now, the last number 15 we'll look at was a legendary Blue Jay who wore number 15 and patrolled center field for the Blue Jays for 10 of his dozen MLB seasons. I'm talking Lloyd Mosby. Shaker, as they called him, had a 333 on base percentage as a Blue Jay 748 OPS, which is not bad for a sample size that spans an entire decade. Mosby was once an all-star, was once a silver slugger as a Blue Jay as well. Robbed, likely robbed of a gold glove or two or three along the way as well. But what always impressed me about Shaker Moe was his durability. He flew around center field and he flew around the base pass. He played hard. So the fact that he averaged 140 games per season in center field for the Blue Jays, again, huge sample size, right? It's over a decade. That's remarkable. That's impressive. For context, George Springer's averaging 67 games, so less than half of that per season in center field so far as a Blue Jay. That outfield had George Bell in left field, Jesse Bartfield in right field, and Lloyd Mosby in center field, which is wow, wow, wow. And those three led the charge in 1985 as the Blue Jays made the playoffs for the first time in franchise history. Of those three, Mosby was the longest serving Blue Jay, and his play on the field was good enough to cheer for him, but even more impressive was his smile and his personality off the field. Are you caught up with all of the Blue Jays advent calendar boxes? If so, I'll tell you, I sure appreciate that, and I hope to see you tomorrow for box number 16.